Hi guys, today we're going to talk about a little trick I use to expand or squeeze a bit the dynamic range of uh, our cameras. Um, I mean, it is what it is, you know, every camera has their own dynamic range, so you are not going to alter that. But it's true that uh, once you have all your image into the histogram, everything perfectly is posed, and uh, there are some things that uh, our eyes perceive better than others. Um, usually, we see more and better in the midtones, you know, so when everything is in the highlights, we see like a lack of detail, but with this little trick, we can make it look popular and better to our eyes because we can lower it with a simple step that I'm going to go through right now. The first requisite is to have everything perfectly exposed so nothing is clipping and this is a, usually a good trick for me when we have uh, skies and windows where you leave things on the highlights because you don't want to take everything like super down to, to make it fake but as I say in the highlights sometimes you, your eyes don't perceive a lot of detail everything is there but you don't see it so with this little trick we can make it like uh, pop a bit more. So let's see what I'm talking about here. So we have this shot here. Here you have the sky. Uh, you have a um, backlit shot. He's like um, the sun is behind him. We have the book here, like reflecting a bit um, of the light uh, towards his face. So we have a bit more like a gentle curve in the in the histogram. But sometimes you know that you know that your sky was um, a bit more like crispy, popular, but you don't see it in the highlights because it's like hidden there. So what I do usually, in this case, we are going to do it with the Color Finale in Final Cut Pro, but you can use whatever software you have. We like this software because it's easy to use and very visual. Okay, we have here the clip. I'm going to show you the layers. The layers are like uh, very simple. A curve to reduce a bit the exposure because I like to uh, overexpose a bit in the Fuji X H2S. And then we have a technical LUT, you know, curve a bit down a bit, you know, like playing with uh, everything. Um, and a creative lab that is giving us a bit more pop, okay? But as you see, the sky feels dead and although we can go like here and do this, you know, like make it appear by using curves, I think this is very destructive, you know, sometimes and it ends affecting other things, you know, um, other areas of, of the image, even if you mask, I feel it's not so natural. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to copy this clip, paste it on top. And we're going to add to the layers an HSL curve and we're going to put it on top in this occasion. So yeah, we're going to go for the sky here. I like to start in Hue versus Luma here. We're going to take all that it's blue and we're going to affect the luminosity, you know? As you see, we have in this image uh, the sky mainly being blue. Uh, we will have something here for sure, but here this, the um, the chair is also blue, so we're going to make a mask later. But for now, we're going to make a point here. Open the limits to make it more gentle, you know, and we're going to affect the luminosity, you know. What we're doing here is like separating the sky from the clouds, okay? And taking it a bit down. As you see, by taking it down, we get some shape from the clouds. We can do this even more dramatic with this, uh, with a linear here. As you see, we can do it like as aggressive as you want, you know? It's nice to shoot in 10 bit log and the maximum quality because otherwise your sky is going to suffer from banding and other artifacts. So make sure that where you're applying some, this kind of, a, aggressive tweaks you're going to to film uh, with the best quality possible in your camera um, then we're going to go to hue versus saturation let's do the same but in this case we're going to increase the saturation okay as you see we're giving more separation because you have luma separation you separate things by 
uh, luminous and you have color separation. In this case, as the sky is blue and the clouds are white, we can do it here easily. Let's do it linear too. Okay. So look at the difference now with and without. And now the final touch is to apply a mask, simple mask. And here you can be the precise you want to be, you know, it's like um, whatever you want to do, uh, the more time you, you take for this, the better, you know. But we're going to make it simple here. Uh, shape mask here on the clip. We're going to make it smaller because if you see, our grading is affecting heavily the, the chair. If I move it to the sky, I'm going to affect only this part, which is the part I like to be affected, you know, by it. Uh, here we can increase the feather to make it gentle. Um, okay, let's do this with this clip on and off so you can see the difference. This is without, this is with. Without, with. So this is the thing, you can be more aggressive if you want, but the thing is that you know that if you have everything well exposed, everything is there. And if you remember that the sky was more like crispy and you don't see it in the image, you can do these little things to to take things back and make your image uh, popular. I hope you like this trick and whatever. Uh, drop a comment below and see you next time.